Okay, you guys, so I just got my VIP oil and um, it didn't take that long. It didn't sting at all, but um, she gave me the packet and she gave me like some free sunscreens and stuff like that. So like this is it. I don't really notice it. Like I don't feel it on my skin at all, to be honest, but I know it's working. But she did say since I already have um, a pretty good health, um, a skincare routine of... Um, I think it's salicylic acid, glycolic acid, stuff like that, that I might not peel as much as other people who like, for example, this is their very first peel. Um, so we'll just wait and see how much I peel. Hopefully like at least at the very least, like I'll just get like some texture from it. But uh, so it's about 1130 right now and I'm gonna wash it off at 330 because I leave it on for four hours. So <clears throat> I will get back to you guys like once I wash it off. Okay, see you soon. So in the pack, I have two cleansing, gentle cleansers. I have three post peel towelettes, and I have two precision plus peel towelettes. I have a SPF of 30. I have a post treatment repair cream, and then also an instruction packet. So according to this for day one, uh, it says, what I'm going to do right now is just leave the VI Peel Precision Solution for four hours. You may then cleanse the skin, avoid hot water, gently pat skin dry. So after I do that, I'm going to apply the first post peel towelette to all areas where the peel was applied. Discard and wash hands. So here's the post peel towelette that I'm going to put on after I wash my face with the gentle cleanser first. And then after I do that, I'm going to wait 10 minutes, and then I'm going to apply a thin layer of the post peel protection, and then apply makeup normally as desired. Okay, so let's go ahead and take off this make uh, take off the mask. So it says to. And I'm going to go ahead and open up the post peel towelette and it says to apply it everywhere the peel was applied. So I've watched other YouTube videos and they said that there's a little bit of solution left in the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and save that and I'm going to open this and I'm going to go ahead and rub this on my face everywhere. Some people say to rub it more like where the hyperpigmentation is. I don't know if that really helps, but um, she did 
them since I have basically thoroughly clean the cream grill that I got peel as much as everyone else. So So I'm going to be back in 10 minutes and I will apply the post peel protectant. Okay, you guys, so it's been about 10 minutes since I put on the, um, oh, it's close. Um, since I put on the, uh, since I washed my face and used the post peel towelette. So now I'm going to put on the post peel treatment which is for itching so they say so i really haven't had any itching so far but i'm assuming like as the um the skin lifts uh it i mean i can imagine it could be an itching process like you need to touch your nipples there like this see if it's like kind of that little kind of like that little like silk foil paper of the hairness all right now, got it. So, let's go ahead and put this on. So, to the shirt where the peel was at, I promise you guys, I'm going to get my nails done so you don't have to pick up my other nails for me, Dad. But I actually, I want to take them off just because I uh, takes time for my nails time to uh kind of grow in again before the wedding because you know you wear anything too much when you're tired but i don't know, just men take whatever like it just becomes like too much so you just need like time to just let it relax so okay so this has a steroid cream in it um like a cortisone So we are done. So what I'm going to do is an hour before I go to bed, I have to wash my face again, do another towelette, and put some more of this stuff on. So I will be back with you guys tonight before I go to sleep. Okay, guys. So I am back, and I'm going to do my nighttime regimen on day one. So, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wash my face with the Gentle Purifying Cleanser. Then I'm going to apply the VIP Peel Precision Plus Post Peel Towelette, wait 30 minutes, and then apply the VIP Peel Post, <laughs> post Peel Towelette, wait 10 minutes, and then I'm going to apply the Post Treatment Repair Cream. So, I'm going to go ahead and wash my face. I'm going to use some face wash for this thing, so. And it also says don't use hot water, so we're not going to use hot water. Sorry about the angle, guys. Like, the struggle is real. Okay, so. I'm going to go ahead and wash off my makeup. Honestly, like, I've noticed that it was a little itchy, or like a little bit, like, if I started to, like, perspire a little bit. Um, but I haven't really noticed any like serious itching. I know a, a, a lot of people have said that, but I haven't really noticed any of that. Just put a little bit on my neck to see it go down to here. So I'm excited to see like how much I'll peel. Because, you know, she really wasn't sure. I'm doing this. Okay. So my water is lukewarm. I know a lot of people, like, when they did their face, like, they were acting like the water was going to, um, <laughs> cause, like, an acidic reaction, so. Um, I mean, but, you know what, everyone's skin is different. Maybe I've just, like, done so much to myself that, 
you know. Okay, so we're going to pass that. I'm going to use some stitches to go like this. Okay. Actually, my skin looks like super clean, to be honest. Like, even though it's hard to start it feeling that, like, it just looks like super, super clean. You really can't even see it in the picture. Okay. So, now we're going to put on the Precision Plus <laughs> Post Kill Highlight. So, that is this one. And open this and we're just gonna apply it to where it would feel more like applied. I actually do notice there's some tingling right now, like on my forehead. So yeah. You can see a little bit here on here, because she just did some hair. Uh, I'm actually interested in what is actually in these pads that cause it to like kind of activate like this system you know so i'm just going to keep using it until the pad is dry so there we go and i'm just going to go from there to post kill okay so that's done now we're just going to wait 30 minutes and I'm going to come back and we're going to do the post kill palette and uh, then we'll do the skin protector. So I will see you guys in 30 minutes. Okay, you guys, I'm back. It's 30 minutes later and now I'm going to put on the VI post kill palette. So this is going to be our second one of these today. So we're not going to wash our face or anything like that. So we're just going to apply like before everything that's on the pad. We're just going to put it and rub it on our face where the glow is applied. This one has like a really strong odor. It's like alcohol. Now, put so now what we're going to do is we're going to wait 10 minutes. Oh, there's a little bit extra on here. There's some extra fluid, so I'm going to just rub that on there. Might as well, right? And then we're going to come back in 10 minutes and then we're going to apply the post-treatment repair cream. So I will see you guys in 30 minutes. Okay, you guys, so it's about, been about 10 minutes. So we're going to put on the post-treatment repair cream. So I just put on about, I don't know how much. It's, there's a lot of it. Um, and then like I was saying before, or there was hydrocortisone cream in it, which isn't anti-inflammatory. I mean, I guess it's just in case some people might have more of an inflammatory response, but I feel like my skin is pretty used to the beauty type. So, just put some of this on, and now I can get to work. And this should also help with uh, any sort of 
it's your mom. Okay, so that's it. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning on day two. Hey everybody, it's me Bridget. So I did not vlog this morning when I, because uh, I was like running late for work. But um, all I had to do was just basically wash my face, put on the post kill protectives, and then um, put on some sunblock, which you know was all oily because of my stress. Um, so tonight, today is day two. I haven't really noticed a lot of peeling. The only peeling I noticed is like just like some, like just like a tiny bit, like right there, not much. Um, so hopefully. Um, by tomorrow or Sunday or Monday, it'll really start to peel, which would be nice. Um, but the next week is going to be healthy since, um, I have a pretty good peel regimen already that I might not feel as much of my body pain if I had peeled for the first time. So we'll see. I kind of really want it to heal a lot though. Um, so let's go ahead and start. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to wash our face and then, um, we're going to do the Precision Plus Post Kill Towelette. Wait 30 minutes and then do the VI Peel Post Kill Towelette. And then wait 10 minutes and then do the Post Treatment Repair Cream last. And then we go to sleep. So, okay, let's do it. Precision Plus palette. I'm going to go ahead and rub all this on just like we did yesterday and the day before. So it's going to be good to go. This is just like salt. We're going to wait 30 minutes and then apply the VI cream or the VI post kill palette. So, a few minutes and 10 minutes. Okay, guys, so I'm back. It's been about 30 minutes. So, now what I'm going to do is apply the VI peel post kill palette.
We're done. Okay, everybody, I'm here. Ten minutes later, I'm going to put on my last step, which is the post-treatment repair cream. It's like almost one o'clock in the morning. I'm so tired. i got to go to work now. So I'm going to put on about that much and put some all over my face. Or the peel is a pro. Like this. Actually, do. I've been ex I had like some tightness on my way home, just like a little bit, but it wasn't like much like I felt before, like with other peels I've had in the past. Um, it was just like a slight pull, even though like I just put a sunblock on my face, so it wasn't dry, but my skin felt like it was about to peel. So I don't know. I think that I get like a at least a moderate amount of peeling, maybe not like shedding like I saw, but you know, we'll see. So tomorrow is Saturday. So hopefully by um, Sunday or Monday, I can start peeling. But Sunday is day three and Monday is day four. So let's see what happens. Uh, right now I'm not really noticing like much of a difference, but we'll see. So I will keep you guys posted tomorrow. Good night. Hey you guys, it's me Bridget. I just want to pop on real quick. Like I'm at work, I'm on my lunch break. So today is like technically day two because I got it done on Thursday at 10. So Friday, Saturday. So it's been about just over 48 hours. So they said you start to peel according to the directions. I should have peeled today, but um, technically they say three to four days. So I could start peeling tomorrow or the following day but honestly like the i've just noticed like this very just minimal like flaking like just like on my chin area i don't know if you can see that or not but it's just like just like a little bit and um it's a little frustrating because i spent 350 dollars on this skin peel and like it didn't do anything like you know i could have like gotten a stronger peel or a different peel but you know um it's just a little frustrating so if and plus i'm not exercising so i mean it's kind of like i would have called off too like so then i would have been out of money <laughs> overweight and my skin didn't peel and out of 350 dollars so um it's like super frustrating um if I don't start peeling by Monday, I'm definitely going to go back to the esthetician and see what happened because like, it's just, it's just not peeling. And like, I've followed the directions to the T and everything else. So I don't know. I don't know. I've been to uh, my esthetician back home in Los Angeles and like, she did a phenomenal job, you know, and um, you know, it always peels. It always looks super great. Um, even my lady that I have here in San Antonio that, um, does my microdermabrasion, like she does a pretty awesome job, you know, and she just kind of does it out of her eyebrow shop. So I'm actually kind of surprised. So I went to a doctor's office and, you know, it just, the peels really aren't that strong. And I really don't feel like I've used that many skincare products where my face doesn't peel. Like, I, that's a little strange, you know? 
So we'll see what happens tomorrow or the following day. If not on Monday or when I'm off on Wednesday, I'm going to go back over there and, you know, tell them it didn't heal, you know. So um, let's see what they can do for me. Um, it's so close to the wedding. I really can't do another pill right now. So, um, yeah, we'll see what happens tonight or tomorrow. See you guys later. Okay, you guys, quick update. I just took off my <laughs> my cap that I have for work. So it's superheroes, so that's why my hair is kind of messy. But I finally started to peel. I don't know if you can see that right around there is starting to peel. But um, it's not like sheets. Mine is more just like kind of flaking off, just like a thin, thin coat. And I think that's what she was talking about. Like, I'm not really going to peel like that. Like, see how some of my neck is peeling and stuff like that. So I think that's what she meant is I'm just going to kind of just shed like, just like a layer or something like that. So I really don't think I'm going to get that much peeling, but as long as I get off one layer and then like I'll get a microderm afterwards, it should, should be fine. Uh, next time I just have to get a stronger peel. Okay. But I just wanted to pop in real quick. Oh, I've been here for 12 hours. This is like my fourth 12 hour day. I'm so ready to go home. I'm so tired of everybody. Oh. 45 minutes. I'll see you guys when I get home. Hey guys, it's me, Bridget. So this is it. Um, I think I only peeled for one day and this is basically how my skin turned out. Um, I noticed that this lightened up a little bit and then um, it looks a lot like clearer, a lot brighter um, with, with all peels. Um, would I get the peel again? Hmm. That is a good question. Um, I mean, I would. Um, I would prefer another peel that's a little bit stronger. But I mean, if it's something like this, like you're getting ready for an event and you don't know what to expect, you don't want to peel too deep or too long, then yes, definitely I would do it again. Um, was it worth $350? Hmm. I really can't say that it is for me personally, um, but that's just my personal opinion. I've had better peels um, in my in my skincare journey, so um, I would definitely say get it because um, that's just this is just my peel experience. But um, today is what day? I got it Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So today is like my day three. So I'm done. Like there's, there's nothing left to peel. Um, if I do miraculously start peeling again, I'll let you guys know, but, um, in seven to 10 days, I'm going to go ahead and get a microdermabrasion just to get off anything that's loose, like skin that's been loosened up. Um, then after that, uh, after seven days, I'll start using my skincare products. So hopefully it'll brighten my skin up a little bit more and get rid of this mark. Um, so yeah, that's what happened with my VI peel. I mean, it was cool, you know, on a scale of one to 10, I give it like, you know, a five or a six, you know, um, but yeah, so, um, I am going to bring you guys with me to do my microdermabrasion and you can see that and my dresses are coming tomorrow. So I'm super excited about that. We can try them on the day. I can finally choose a reception dress. So please, please, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to do more videos like this um, so you guys can enjoy. Thank you so much on following me for, for following me on my VIPL experience. I'll see you soon. Bye.